We got a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 P2 pass. Just dropped to Evo Kadi with the potential of going to wave one tonight. So before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's continue. All right, guys. So the pass just dropped um, a few updates under ships and vehicles. Ship HUD polish um, pass has also been done. They've added a new weapon ammo type icon to weapon config screens. They've added a tooltip for MFDs, change cursor when able to scroll the power management list. They've reduced the overall haul and thruster health for the Hornet series ships. Uh, on the core tech, they've done an update to um, render to text shader improvements, it says here. They've uh, also added uh, additive blending of source pixels to screen with multiplier. They've added additive blending of bloom with screen with multiplier along with a saturation factor. They've combined hard drop shadow offsets with blur soft shadow along with individual multipliers for both and they've added chromatic abbreviation with custom offsets this one also comes with a few bug fixes as well um they fix an issue where the default power distribution does not balance pools equally they fix an issue where uh you cannot set routes while in close proximity to the surface of the planet they fix an issue where the argo atlas suit is appearing at the top of Aesop list and not with the rest of the Argo ships. I didn't notice this a while back. They fix an issue where the tractor beams or tractor beam rifle, it says here an invisible barrier blocks tractor beams from hitting boxes attached to the cargo grid when standing under the ship. They fix an issue pertaining to the inner thought system where the cockpit button interaction overlaps the MFD after being initially hovered over. They fix an issue where using the Cryastro restock service fill up the filler station to maximize to maximum capacity with the salvage material. They fix an issue where the custom filler tick box is not showing a clear selection indicator for the chosen category. They fix an issue where the interaction points to lower the elevators to enter out of reach from the ground. They fix an issue where the Carrick, Sulin, and the Hall C is missing their elevators. I thought they fixed this already, but um, I guess they refixed the fix. <laughs> um, they fix an issue where there is no option to continue cycling the MFT keybinds. They fix an issue where ground vehicles have ship configurations in their general configuration they fix an issue pertaining to hair facial hair uh, the hair beard scalp texture will mix up and will not match each other they fix an issue where the miss starfarer is not refueling other ships along with this is three client crash fixes as well as two server crash fixes and one server deadlock fix so now let me tell you guys um CIG has mentioned that uh, this is a potential release candidate. So what they're going to do is they're going to monitor this um, for a few hours tonight. And if all goes well, they will release it to wave one. So keep an eye out for that. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.